This is a gas well southwestern on Peck Hill Road. It's a producing site and they're picking up uh, brine, what they call brine or residual waste. Produced water flow back from the gas well while it's in production. Those are heaters in the back. There's a quarry right next to here. Glenwood Stone Company, New Milford. And you can see the heaters in the back. I don't know, it looks like there's two of them there. There are two stacks. Might be two wells here. And then you got the pipeline coming in and going out, gathering uh, lines, laterals, take the gas out. Got some solar panels for sending out information. Some kind of data they send out. Got all these residual waste or fresh water tanks. Here for storing them for some reason. They usually store. Noisy. We got. Um, oh, he's going to stop now. It's good. He removed the brine, and there's a farm right there. And yeah, let's see the name of this place. Cordwell. Cordwell West. Southwestern. Very dusty, dirty uh, dirt road. It's been dry. We haven't had much rain. And it looks like nobody's across the road. It's a big field. And then there's another building or house beyond our cars. So we're parked just off the road. Let's see. So they got the gate open so he can go in and out, of course. And this company, so it says on here residual waste. And it's SGFS. Now we're going to see where he goes with this. Usually they go to, uh, they may go to a recycling plant. We have two of them in the county to recycle some of this water, remove some of the brine or salts or chlorides and, and who knows what else and then reuse it at sites. See if he's able to close the gate. He's leaving, but he's going to park. It's so sunny out, it's hard to see. Hi, where are you going? Where are you going to go with the truck? Do you go to a recycling plant? Uh, wastewater. Wastewater for me. I know. Which one do you go to? Denver. Who? Denver. Zephyr water impoundment. Oh, you're going to the Zephyr one? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you're going to what? Drop off uh, whatever that is? What yeah. do they consider it? Brine or? Production water. 
Well, they call it fresh water? Production. Oh, production. production water. Yeah. yeah, it's coming from that tank, right? Yep. And then you're going to dump it into the that one, uh, the Zephyr yeah, uh, and they, pit. They, uh, Impoundment, right? And then yep. what do they do? They just let it evaporate or something? No, they reuse it. They reuse it, but don't, do they do anything? Do they treat it anyway? No, they just pump it right to the next frack site and reuse it. Okay, because it's out in the air. I thought something maybe gets evaporated, some of the salts or oh, something. Oh, I'm sure it does. Something but, maybe changes. But uh, they... Uh, yeah, they, they just pump it right to another, to the next frack site and reuse it. But isn't there two ponds there? I've been yes, there. So yes. what's the other one for? Is it uh, the same thing? Or something the to... same thing, yeah. Oh, the same thing? I thought one was fresh water, one was produced water. Well, the, the, the lower one they use yeah. for just production, and the upper one they pump fresh water into it. Oh, okay. And that's what they actually send to the next frack, because they have, you know, yeah. they can't use this as as it is as right? it is right right it's a problem there must be like two wells here i see two stacks i wonder uh, can you tell how many wells i think it's just one it's just one because yeah. i see two stacks yeah, there most most of the gas but most of the gas production units have two stacks on them oh really for this is for southwestern because i'm i'm used to some of the other companies like cabot or where are you guys uh, from I'm from the county, and he's from New York City. Oh, really? So we're doing like a documentation, a documentary. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you look down, I see the wellheads down. I think there's only, there's only one wellhead. Oh, just one wellhead there. Down and why do they have all tank. these parts here? Just the storage? They I mean, just got done. They just got done. Uh, did they finish them. fracking here? Oh, is that it? Yeah. So they have to remove it. I see. Yeah, they just haven't pulled the tank out yet. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. So then, are you a local guy or what? Yeah. In the county? No, I live over in Bradford County. But Oh. We do a lot of work for Southwest. Oh, okay. Both here in Bradford County. So you've done it for a few years. How are you feeling about the whole thing? I'm liking it. You are? Yeah. It's been good for the economy. For both, you know. For some people. Most of us are still poor, though, in the county. We're not getting money. Well, <laughs> you have to remember, though. Who's 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 it helping? The, all the, well, it's helping everybody, I think. Really? No, not most of the people I know. No. No, we don't get any money for it. If we do, I got. I know people. Well, I, I see your point, and I, I know it is legible. It is a legible. You have a legible. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Argument as far as the average person that's worked all their lives and lives in town has an acre to a ground. It has a cost in your money. Because right. The cost of everything is escalated. Right. And the rentals, everything. Rentals are up. Everything. Everything's more expensive. Right. And. Uh, Right, more traffic, more road wear, more everything, you know. Right. But all the old, all the people that, all the old farmers that, that lived on nothing all their life, and starved all their lives. Well, yeah, they didn't starve. They all look a little chunky to me. They, they didn't starve. There's a lot of farmers that, that lived on nothing for a long time, and they're actually they, reaping the benefits now. Well, they're in the minority, though, compared to the whole population. And what are they, 10% of the population? Right. And then the rest of us have to deal, deal with all this, the traffic. The high prices, the high rents, right? Um, people not wanting to move in here, the, the slow down oh, I real don't estate. See that. I don't see that at Hasn't all. it slowed down in Bradford? Here it's slowed down. Way oh, down. yeah, it's slowed down everywhere. Well, prices are down. Prices are down, demand's down, so demand's down, supply is up, price is going to go down. Yeah, it's slowed down a lot, like more than half over here. Oh, yeah. Right? Yep. What township are you in? In Bradford? Oh, um, White Sox. Oh, I know White Sox. But your water's okay still? Oh, yeah. Because we yeah, know... they're uh, mostly going right down through the... I mean, bypassing the, the but water table. We have, ten, we have ten townships now with contaminated water in our county. All families well, in ten townships. Back up a minute, miss. Yeah? A lot of those town, a lot of those places were contaminated with gas a lot before this started. Like, all, all the people down in them, they complained about those wells and everything. There was, there was gas coming up out of those wells. 50 years ago, before this ever started. And how do you know that? Did you have proof of it? Did you yes, ever? Yes, I do have proof of it. I hauled milk in this area for the last 30 years. And who had gas in their ward? Did, and how much gas was in there? Do you know? Enough so you could light a match to it. Oh, did you ever see a match lit? Yes. And where was that? And what road? Do you I remember? Guess. I'm not. I don't remember what you say, but I know. I know it's been bad. Well, we had pre-testing from Cabot, and there was no gas in the water with the wells, and that's why DEP has found them guilty. You know. The DEP found Cabot guilty of uh, contaminating not only Dimmick, Lennox, and they have, they can't, and do you know they can't drill for nine square miles in Dim, uh, Dimmick since 2010 because of what they did? They raised the, the gas from like 
under one milligram per liter to over 80 milligrams per liter. Is that right? Oh yeah, and then heavy metals, radioactivity, radon, chemicals are now coming through, mm -hmm. and we have proof of that from the DEP and um, private testing. Right. So then what are you going to do with that? Because it's not, not at all like it was. It changed dramatically. Yeah. That so whatever they had, you know, was tiny, and then it became off the charts, and that's why they're banned. Do you know they're banned in nine square miles? Since 2010, there's a consent order. Right. They had to sign Cabot and their uh, CEO. Mm -hmm. They can't go in. There's no drilling. Right. Well, I feel bad for those people in, in that, in that and segment. Also, and it's also Lennox. We have a whole group in Lennox. There's lawsuits uh, all over the place. we got Lennox. We have Auburn. We have a whole bunch. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, all throughout the whole county. Huh. Not only is it Cabot, it's Chesapeake. It's Chief. Southwestern, well, they got lawsuits with Southwestern since 2009 right. in court. Huh? They contaminated 90, uh, Route 92, and then one Route 106. I was just at a house yesterday, and the guy showed me what they hide in the basement, what they hide in the back, and he poured out, and you, they show you all the stuff. They're all in court, and then they have to sign gag orders and shut their mouths. Otherwise, they get nothing. Right. Yeah, there's all huh? kinds of crap going on. Well, I haven't heard any of that. Of course, because they know how to keep a secret. Right. You know how they know how to hide so that none of us know. But that's why we try and reveal it, because I meet all the people. Uh -huh. If you ever want to meet them, you can come. You can see it with your own eyes. Special yeah. filtration systems, 100,000 bucks they spent on private property. got 23 of them cabin is maintaining in our county and then in Mishaka. Right. And you can come and see them and listen to the people, what they have to go through. Yeah. And they didn't have any of that before they came in our county. So if you ever want to see it, okay. If you want a car, you let me know. You can, you can come and uh, see with your own eyes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Do you know the Carol? Do you know Carol French and Carolyn Knapp? They have dairies in Bradford County. I think it's in uh, Troy Township. I'm trying to remember the township. Do you Carol know that name? Claude. Carol French, Carolyn uh, Knapp. Do you know those farmers? No, I don't. Because when you said you were delivering milk, they do milk, they're dairy. Right, yeah, I, I picked up milk at dairy farms for 30 years, for 17 years. So you don't years. know those farms, the French farm? <coughs> no, most of my, all my boots are over there here, over here. Valley Heavy Hole, it's called Valley Heavy Hole. They just hauled some stuff, equipment, I think it was a trailer, housing. And from what I can see in the back plate here, it looks like uh, Oklahoma Place. Is it Oklahoma? Yeah. Lots of dust from these trucks, so I'm trying to stay in my car when they go by. Here comes the stone quarry guy who just went by. That's for Glenwood. Look at the dust and they're going by those farmhouses. They're getting loads, loads of dust. Kicked up with all these big trucks.